Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take the dominoes in rigid bodies and we're going to try and make them not only climb some stairs, but we're going to try and make them climb circular stairs. All right, so I haven't tried this before, but I'm going to see if I can wing it here on the fly real quick. So when I brought the file back in, it actually took away my rigid body settings. I'm not sure why, but I don't need them for the moment. What I want to be able to do is I want to just grab all of these objects here. So I'll just grab all of these. I want those to be a single object here and I'll just press control J and join them together alright so now it's just a single object now I'm gonna move my let's see there's that alright I'll move my cursor to this location so it's generally close to it and then I'm gonna add a curve I'll add a bezier curve or a circle maybe right in here alright and I'll scale it up S like this and then what I want to do is I want to apply this to that circle. I want to make deform it to that circle. So I'll grab this object, shift select this object, press control P, and then use the parent but curve deform. And suddenly you see that it's sitting around the circles like that. So you ch if you change the size of the circle, you'll change the influence of the. So if I just grab this circle here, you'll see if I grab this S they'll change up like that as well. That's important that they're centered as well otherwise this probably won't work quite right. Well we're not even sure it's going to work right anyway but we're going to find out here soon. So now that they're on the circle, though I wish I, I don't have a way to really, well let's see, let's see if we can apply the modifier. Let's see if it actually works. It says it's applied so we should be able to get rid of the circle. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it's for, it's there. So all right, so now they're in a circular form. So now we have to try and go back and do the same thing as before. Go into edit mode, select everything, and then press P and separate by loose parts. Now, th even though they're physically close to each other, there's probably enough of a separation that they separated out. But we're going to find out. So I'll go into edit mode, I mean back into object mode, and I'll transform the origin back to the geometry. And it looks like it actually worked in that case. Alright, so now I want to go get the tool shelf up, add the physics effects back in that weren't in there before. So I'll just do these individually. Sometimes if you try and group a bunch together and do them all at once, like I'll show you, here's the, these two here. If I grab that one and that one and add active, uh, in this case it actually does work. In the game engine it, it doesn't work all the time, so I can do that easy enough. Add active. And then in here I'll grab all of these and make those passive. Alright, so then this, I was going to go back to that, so I'm going to shift S cursor to selected, put this shift S selection to cursor so it's in the approximate vicinity of that there, and then we'll, well by golly, uh, that needs to be active. Okay, and then this has to have animated, and it's already preset like that. All right, so let's go full screen and see, kind of give it a perspective, see if we can see it actually working. All right, so I'll press Alt-A, and I'll grab this guy. Let's see if it actually comes to life. Oh, it's trying. <laughs> see, I didn't have enough time on it. All right, so I'm going to have to do one thing. If, there's, if it runs out of time, then... You need to come back down here to the render button option down here. And down here, where did it go? Oh no, it's under this one here. Rigid, rigid body cache. So I'll crank it up. So it'll run a little bit lo longer and then I'll crank up the number of frames. So they'll run longer as well. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, Alt-A. Oh, it was already sitting there, so it's starting. So the friction here, they slide a little bit too much, but it actually does work. So then it take, you know, then it's a matter of tweaking it and you know trying making it cleaner. Or let's see, it might have been the extra separation that was added because of going around the circle, or maybe it's just let's see, let's just hit it a little bit higher up like that. Let's try it like this, then I run it. Knock it over here. He 
Yeah, well, okay, well, not as well as the straight line version, but it kind of gives you an idea, and it, and it does work. And, okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.